Why did competition fail? There are programs out there that haven't failed. Why did we not look at the research? Look at the data. Where are programs succeeding? Florida is one of those programs. They wrote a waiver and asked for competitive insurance programs. Their citizens can choose from among a dozen different plans with different offerings. The plans compete on benefits, co-pays, provider networks, allowing for better matching of payment to risk, to prevent insurers from avoiding the sick people. This pilot program in Florida, which has now gone statewide, showed a much higher level of engagement from its Medicaid recipients, with more than 70% choosing a plan other than the default one. Patients also get access to seven different services, such as dental, vision, other things that they can choose from to make the coverage different and to personalize it. And they have a cash incentive for healthy behavior. 64% of the people in the program utilize that cash incentive to quit smoking. So why should we vote against this appropriation? The program in Florida has achieved results. The health outcomes are 64% better, 83% higher satisfaction, and Florida, this is the best thing, if you don't listen to anything else, Florida is saving roughly $118 million a year just in five counties that were in their pilot program. They expect to save a billion dollars a year when they go statewide. Are we going to save any money? Do we have reforms in our bill that are going to bring these kind of outcomes? There's another example out there. Look at the research. Follow the data. Washington State applied for a Medicaid waiver, but instead of receiving the open-ended dollar match, like we did, their waiver asked for a, for a fixed amount in the form of a block grant. This would give more flexibility. Their bill would cap the amount of money available under Medicaid, and this would allow them to budget. So that's in another example of something we could have looked at. So why should you vote against this appropriation? Because we asked for an open-ended entitlement. When we could have asked for a block grant that would cap the money and allow for budgeting, if we, had, we wouldn't be worrying about going over the cap this year and owing the federal government a reimbursement already. So why should you vote against this appropriation? Because we didn't ask for a variety of plans that could meet the patient's needs instead of a one-size-fits-all approach. Why don't we have true competition between insurance companies that would drive down the premium prices? There could be no competition when every plan is mandated to be identical. I don't see anything about the appropriation or this compromise that has been added that even comes close to these other plans. And these plans are new. I'm sure they were there when our architects were handed the framework for this PO. So why did they work so hard on a plan that was first tried out during the Bush years? When there were plans out there that were working and were saving states money, but more important, these plans were improving the health of the recipients. I'm going to skip to the end. I see I'm losing you. I'm a good teacher. <laughs> The Arkansas Medicaid expansion that is disguised as the private option would very well explode, I think, with hidden and unexpected costs. With funding for K-12 secure within the matrix, that leaves all other state expenses very vulnerable. 
Higher Ed, who has lobbied for this expansion, could be the first to fill the, the cuts to their programs. Businesses and employers who have lobbied for this Medicaid expansion will see their revenues diminish in our, as our Kansans have less and less money to spend. This will be due to higher insurance costs and higher taxes. And some part-time work that they've been moved to. Employers who choose to move employees down to part-time to escape providing their insurance will see that this will also lead our Kansans to having less money to spend in their stores. I'm new to politics, but an appropriation for a program with this many mistakes and unknowns to me is unconceivable. I believe there is enough hard data available to point to the fact that we wrote a Medicaid waiver that doesn't do what we wanted for the poor people of Arkansas and this appropriation does nothing to change that. I'm asking for a no vote on this appropriation and I'm asking to put together a group that would look at what is best for the health care of our Kansans. Why haven't we done that in the past? I know Mr. Burris asked, Representative Burris said, why haven't we done that already? Why weren't people brought to the table? Were minorities brought to the table? Were women brought to the table? Who was brought to the table when they were putting these, this program together? Our vote was rushed and we were pressured and there was a lack of transparency. Remember my brother in Canada who goes down the hall to a vending machine to buy a cast for his son, but health care is free. Remember when you reach to vote on this bill that this may be our last chance to put the ineffective PO on hold, just on hold, while we work to bring meaningful reform and a system of health care to those who trust us to do our homework when voting on a bill. It's not too late to separate the private options, appropriation, and put a hold on it while we work for true health care solutions that would bring all of these people to the table and I believe find a program that is truly right for Arkansas. I appreciate a no vote.